We discuss probability theory as the framework for making decisions under uncertainty. In classification, basis rule is used to calculate the probabilities of the classes. We generalize to discuss how we can make rational decisions among multiple actions to minimize the expected risk. We also discuss learning association rules from the data. Data in a machine learning project typically comes from a process whose details are not fully known. This lack of knowledge is embraced by modeling the process as a random process. Even if, even if the data is generated through a fully deterministic process, because we don't have a complete knowledge of it, we model it as random and use probability theory to analyze it. For example, tossing a coin can give us heads or tails. And we see this as a random process because we cannot predict whether the outcome will be heads or tails. One can argue that given extra knowledge about the coin and about the tossing on a very detailed physical level, such as, uh, you know, the metallic composition of the coin, uh, air friction, initial position, force and momentum of the toss, where and how it's caught and so on, it can allow us to calculate the outcome of the toss. But the trouble is that we typically don't have access to such knowledge and we talk about unobservable variables. And also we talk about observable variables. In our example, the only observable variable is the outcome of the toss. Random processes where the outcome can have two values are Bernoulli distributed and the probability distribution is given through the probability P0 of getting 1 and the probability 1 minus P0 of getting 0. If we know P0, then we can predict the outcome while minimizing the error risk. We can do predict 1 if P0 is larger than 0 0.5 and predict 0 if P0 is smaller than 0 0.5. And in fact, if you have P0 equal to 0 0.5, uh, for example, you have a fair coin, then it doesn't really matter what you predict. The um, uh, error risk is going to be the same no matter what you predict for the next outcome. In other words, there is no way for you to reliably predict the outcome of the next coin. But if we don't know the probability P0, then the next, next thing we can do is we can take a sample of outcomes of our random process. And that means that we are going to have a number of um, observations. In our case, um, it's going to be a number of n observations. So uh, we have xt with t from 1 to n. And then based on this sample, we can actually estimate the probability P0 of the one outcomes. And that's going to be the number of one outcomes divided by the total number of um, uh, 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 outcomes in your sample. And so based on this estimation of P0, we can then predict the next outcome uh, as we did before. It's going to be 1 if our estimation of P0 is larger than, than 0, 0.5 and it's going to be 0 if our estimation of P0 is going to be smaller than 0, 0.5.